Within Safari, there is a bookmark menu which you can open by tapping on the open book next to the search bar. This will open up your bookmarks menu and it has favourites which is a category within bookmarks and this is best for the sites that you use most frequently. What makes favourites special is that these appear on your Safari homepage. As you can see I have the Glow, Sign In and the Google page in my favourites at the moment and they appear on the homepage on the right hand side. It's easy to add a website to your favourites. Once you've found the site that you'd like to add, tap on the share icon at the top and scroll down to add to favourites. From here you can change the name if you like and then when you're ready just tap on save. And when I now go back to my home screen you'll see that the Connected Falkirk site has been added to my favourites and it's also in my bookmarks list. You can add websites to bookmarks that are not in favourites and you can even add folders to keep things organised. If I open up my bookmarks menu again by tapping on the book, you'll see I have this edit option down at the bottom right of this window and then I have new folder at the left hand side. I could create a CLPL folder in my bookmarks and then go to the Microsoft Education Centre website and by using the share icon again I could add that to bookmarks and tap on favourites to change the location and I want to put that in my CLPL folder and save. Then also going to get the Apple Teacher homepage and add that to my CLPL folder as well. And you'll now see that I have bookmarked those websites and they're organised in the CLPL folder. That's how to use bookmarks and favourites. The next option you see in this menu is the reading glasses, which is your reading list. And this is where to save articles that you want to read at a later time. So I'll close this bookmark menu again. And if I have found an article that I want to read at a later time, I can tap on my share icons. This time I'm going to add this to the reading list. And when I then open up my bookmark menu again, you will see in the reading list that that article is saved in there for me to read later. This is very similar to bookmarks, but there are two key differences within this menu. One is that this list tracks what has been read and what is unread, and you can toggle that by tapping the show all or show unread button. And secondly, it saves the article offline, so you will be able to read it at a later time, even if you don't have access to the internet. And the third option here in this list is your internet history. So that is how to use bookmarks, favourites and reading lists to quickly return to websites that you use most often.